Welcome to the Whitmix Corporation tutorial on how to upgrade your Roland Cam Tower. First, you'll need to download the driver updates and software updates from the appropriate web pages. So, open a browser, navigate to RolandDGA.com, and then when the page loads, click Dental and Medical CAD CAM. From there, select either the DWX50 5 axis CAD CAM milling machine link or the DWX4 compact dental mill link. Once the appropriate page is loaded, go to the technical support link. When that page loads, scroll down and you'll have some options for different downloads. The first download you need to get is the driver update. To do this, scroll down to drivers and then go to the appropriate operating system. Once you've found the right operating system for what you have installed, look for either the 32-bit or 64-bit version of the driver and then download that based on what your operating system is. Then click Save. Scroll down a little further. There will be a firmware update. Firmware updates don't change that often so it's probably pretty likely that you have the current firmware already. But if you don't then you can click the firmware download and then save it. And under software updates is the final uh, update for the DWX50, which is the DWX50 V panel update. Click that link and save it as well. Once you have the three different uh, software updates from Roland, open another tab and go to simsystem.com. From that, when this page loads, click download and then updates. Here, Type in your company name, an email, and your dongle number. Click Submit. When the next page loads, go to Sum3D, pick the appropriate language, and then pick the appropriate year. And from there, you'll have the most current installer to download. Once the files have downloaded, open your download folder. It's important to install these updates in the right order. The first one is the driver. Make sure your rolling machine is off when you install the driver. And then extract the installer file. Double click the folder and then run the setup. From here click install. In the model drop down, browse to DWX50 or DWX4 if you're updating a DWX4 system. Leave uh, the port as USB. Click Start. The wizard will walk you through the installation. When it's finished, click Finish. Next, you would install the firmware. Since I currently have the most up-to-date firmware, this installer won't do anything for me. But if you double-click it, the on-screen instructions will walk you through how to update the firmware. After the firmware has been updated, you need to update the vPanel. You can do that by running the setup. The last step in updating your Roland system is to update some 3D. To do that, run the update that you downloaded from the Sim System webpage. It'll extract all the necessary files into the some 3D directory. Now that it's finished installing, you need to restart your computer and then power on the Roland mill and let it update the driver. And then from there, you're going to need to run an automatic correction. This concludes the Whitmix tutorial on how to update your Roland system.